So good afternoon you guys, starting my vlog a little bit later in the day. As you can tell, I've just had a shower, um, <laughs> hence why I've got my shower cap on. So I actually had my hair done on Tuesday, so I got it braided again. But this time it's got a little bit of blonde on the end. Don't know how I feel about it. So I kind of prefer the colour I had it before. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my hair for the next three months. The other braids I had in done me so well. My hair was in such poor condition before I got it braided and that was why I got my hair braided. Just to give it a little bit of a break and to protect it. And I was really dreading what state my hair would be in once I took the braids out. But I was actually pleasantly surprised that my hair is so much healthier. I had a lot of new growth, a lot of nice healthy thick new growth. Uh, the relaxed parts of my hair had stopped breaking off it was a lot stronger and yeah so I'm just really 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 happy that I'm finally on this journey to having healthier hair it's great um so I've just got my hair braided again and um like I said it's going to last me a couple of months so it'll take me at least until the end of January then I'll take these braids out get my roots relaxed because I should have about two inches worth of new growth to relax and I'll probably just wear my natural hair out and maybe go back to my clippings as well we'll see I don't even know what the time is it's probably about maybe three or four o'clock in the afternoon. So I thought I would try and film a cozy home vlog and my friend April and Lily have recently filmed one and I just love watching these type of videos. So I thought I would try and do one myself. I don't really have any major plans for this video so I'm not too sure how it's gonna plan out exactly. So apologies for the really terrible lighting. I've just got this jumper which you guys have seen a couple of times. Just check the label and it's actually from Zara. It's not a PJ top, it is literally just a jumper but I think this is in a medium so it's not my size. I'm a extra small or small um, so it's kind of like just a tiny bit oversized. I guess this would have been more of like a tight fit if it was like a small but it's a little bit loose and then I've just got these um, bottoms on. There's a tag for those of you that wanted to know and these are in a size 6. So I think I actually got these, it might have been last year off ASOS. They're really comfortable and they have pockets. They're very nice length and I've just got some Primark socks on but yeah this is just my cozy casual outfit. My room is just feeling so cozy right now. I've got some lights on behind my hamster cage and I've got my new light on my desk on and then I've got Bella just relaxing sprawled out on my bed. I've actually discovered a new YouTuber I really like. Her name is Gemma Louise Mile. One of her videos popped up so I clicked on it and I thought oh this is quite nice and I had a look at her channel and she does such lovely videos and she's such a sweet person so I've just been watching a couple of them just to get a feel of her channel and she seems really sweet and she does some really nice cozy videos so if you love cozy vlogs and stuff like that, um, definitely check out her content. She's so cute at this time of day where she's just napping. It's the sweetest thing. So one of the main reasons why I actually wanted to start my vlog this afternoon is because my candle turned up and I'm so excited and I want to unbox it with you guys. Um, but let me prop you up for a second, actually. I don't really buy candles because they tend to give me a little bit of a headache, um, mainly because of like all the crap that is in the candle it just gives me a really bad migraine and I don't tend to like the smell of a lot of candles so for the last couple of years I've been telling myself I'm gonna get myself a nice natural candle with like beeswax or soy wax so that was a long-winded way of me <laughs> explaining why I decided to treat myself to a natural unscented soy candle I'll link the shop down below but I just thought the packaging was really cute so I wanted to share it with you guys it's owned by a really lovely lady so she makes hand poured soy wax candles oh the packaging is so cute I actually have an Etsy store and I love making things look really nice and pretty for customers I've never had a free wick candle before so I'm so excited oh this is really nice oh it's huge it's actually quite a big candle to be fair I'm so excited to light this let's go ahead and burn this because I've been waiting for this all week so it's pretty much that time of day where I just want to take my makeup off and get cozy in bed it's actually today's actually gone really quick um, I feel like I've not really done a lot today, but I've been doing stuff all day. Um, so I started off editing this morning because I had this cat video that I filmed the other week. So I was editing the footage for that this morning. And then I 
basically done a little bit of filming for that video today and then I started this vlog in the afternoon so we'll see how this vlog turns out but yeah need to take off my makeup um I'm just gonna take my lashes off now because they are already hanging off um these lashes are so pretty I don't even know what um lashes these are but um they're really 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 nice um and yeah I love taking off my makeup I don't like the process of taking off my makeup but I love having like a nice fresh clean face so this is one of my favorite face washes it's also really good at taking my makeup off as well and it does say it removes makeup oil and dirt another face wash i really like is the scarnier one i've almost finished this one i've just got the tiniest amount in there so after i've washed my face twice i like to use my garnier micellar water so this is the big bottle and yeah this stuff lasts me a couple of months i'm going to need to get another one soon because i'm almost out and then in the evening i'll either use this l'oreal triple active night cream if i want something really moisturizing if my skin's feeling a bit dry but most nights i've been using my uh, body shop tea tree night mask so i'm going to go ahead and take my makeup so i can chill in bed um i forgot to mention earlier but brandon's actually going to vegas today it was a little bit last minute um he told me yesterday that he's going to book some tickets to go to um to go to vegas to watch the formula one on saturday so yeah he's at the airport right now he's going to be flying very soon and he's going to be there for a couple of days so i've just taken my makeup off so my face is feeling really fresh now um i just need to apply a cream so i think i'm going to go for the l'oreal one tonight just something um hydrating i do need to get another one of these because mine's almost finished i've actually got another one of these on my christmas list i don't think I will get it for Christmas. <laughs> um, if I don't, I'll just buy another one myself. But yeah, let me know if you guys have done your Christmas list already. If you do Christmas list, I really like doing Christmas list because I don't like getting the stuff that I don't want and not in a rude way. So I really appreciate it when someone goes, can I have a list? And then it's like, yep, here you go. Here's my list. Here's the things I would like. And then they you know pick a couple of things off that list and then you end up getting presents that you've asked for and most of the things i asked for for christmas is bath and body um skincare just a little bit of makeup i think i've got like free makeup products on my christmas list this year and i just asked for the type of things i by myself so my work colleagues have a christmas list i've given one to my mom i've also given one to Brandon and yeah I think I finalized it a couple of days ago I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it my list is quite long to be fair it just kept getting longer and longer obviously I don't expect everything on the list but it just gives everyone like a bit of variety of like things to pick and I've got some hair care bits on there as well I think actually I'm not sure if I've got any hair care stuff no I don't think I do but I've got some like dental stuff on there as well because there's this toothpaste and mouthwash by this company called Gem I think that's what they're called and I've wanted to try their stuff for a little while so yeah I think I'm going to end the vlog here <laughs> this evening I don't really have anything else to film and I might pick up filming tomorrow I think but yeah I'll see you guys either tomorrow or in a couple of days so good morning you guys i've got a face mask on as you can see i'm just using my usual body shop coffee one um i'm so sad that this has been discontinued i'm gonna see if i can grab another one of these off vintage because it's such a good face mask if you love coffee you would definitely love this face mask and today i actually decided to open up this um body shop face mask brush and this brush is really nice it applies the face mask really nicely i think i got this in an advent calendar a couple of years ago and i just never got around to using it so i thought i would use the two together i'm gonna quickly take my vitamin so the brand i've been loving is nutrigums um i think i've pronounced that right but these are the um women's health ones and i think this is like my third bottle i've been taking vitamins for the last year and they really do help i like a either a vitamin d gummy or a women's multivitamin gummy because it does have vitamin d in it so i think these are about 10 pounds and you do get two months uh, worth of gummies in here so it's not too bad and i also tried the um hair gummies they look like this i'm debating where i should buy another pack of these because obviously you guys know i've been trying to look after my hair and i'll show you guys like a few serums and stuff i've been using in my hair but when you're using a couple of things it's hard to sort of 
tell what's actually helping your hair and what isn't or if it's just a combination of all the things so um yeah i just haven't repurchased another one of these yet i might do in the future these were quite nice and they were cherry flavored and i do prefer taking um vitamins in gummy form compared to tablets because i do have these hair tablets i found these ones on amazon they're by vita bright and they look like this and they're for um hair skin and nail and this is a one year supply they weren't that expensive but the results looked amazing but the only thing is their tablets they're not huge tablets so i can swallow them but i'm just not very good at swallowing tablets and yeah they're not absolutely huge but i just prefer to take a gummy and taking a tablet so i'm terrible at taking these and i really should start taking these again and for my hair I actually need to put some stuff in my hair because my scalp is a little bit dry so every couple of days I like to use either like some serums or some oils but I need something a little bit thicker today because um, I can see a few dry patches and it is feeling a little bit itchy so I'm going to go in with the Origins hair cream so it's 100% natural and organic and this brand is actually owned by my hairdresser and all the ingredients I believe are from Ghana so she has like shampoos conditioners all that kind of stuff and she uses this in my hair when I'm at her salon and it's really really good so I bought a tub just a really thick product so I think it's got like shea butter in there so what I do is just scoop a bit out and warm it up on the back of my hand make it into a really soft paste and then just spread that throughout my hair and then I also like to put some oils in my hair like I said so one of my favorite ones is this black is this Jamaican black cast oil so this was from um super drugs and this isn't the original bottle the original bottle had like a screw on lid it was like a glass bottle really nice bottle but it kept leaking so I got these uh bottles off sheen and and then the last two that I use regularly are these two by Lee Stafford. So when I first got these and I was using it in my um, hair when my hair was out, um, it didn't really work too well because these are very like you can tell there's a lot of water in them. So I feel like it just didn't work with my hair. But now that my hair's in braid, it's the best time for me to use these products. I feel like it works best in this situation. So I actually finished a whole bottle of these. I got two for my birthday. Um, it was on my wish list and my so I picked one up when I was with my sister and my work colleague also got me one um, and this is the grow strong and long scalp serum and it supports stronger longer hair with strength boosting proteins and fruit extracts and this is really easy to use so it just comes in a pipette kind of like a skincare product and you just you know put a few drops in your hair and massage that in and then this one is a spray so you just take off the cap and you just spray it around your hair and just moisturize it in so it's very much like a water and this is very much like a very uh liquidy serum and then you guys already know what um shampoo and conditioner i've been using just the monday um monday hair care I posted about this on my instagram as well and this is the moisture one it's a really good shampoo and conditioner doesn't smell amazing i wish it had a nicer smell um but this has been doing wonders for my hair so i'm going to continue using these they have some hair vitamins but they're not available in the uk yeah so i'm gonna stop rambling to you guys go ahead and um wash my face mask off put my face cream on um sort my hair out oh my god i feel so annoyed right now so i just filmed a clip talking for a good couple of minutes and i was talking about my skincare and i was talking about like some christmas bits and my camera was about to die so i stopped filming and then i've never had this before but it seemed like the file corrupted like something popped up on my camera so i took the sd card out plugged it into my ipad and it's like the video is not there and i really liked that clip and i can't remember everything i said in it i came back I was putting my moisturiser on, I was basically saying that I was using my L'Oreal night cream because it's the thickest cream that I have because I've been having a lot of issues with my skin. I always have had issues with my skin um, but it was just getting really frustrating where I was using different products and nothing was really helping. Now I can't really remember where I got up to because um, I just had to pop my camera on charge for a little bit because both of my camera batteries are dead. So annoying, I should have charged them up yesterday but I didn't plan on filming today. Um, but yeah. So back to my skincare, I've been using a lot of products and they haven't been bad products, they just haven't really done anything. And because my skin has gotten quite dry and it used to be more oily, I've been using 
um, products for normal skin. I've also been using stuff like vitamin C serums, which is supposed to be good for dark spots and the hyperpigmentation. And I've gone through bottles and I've not really seen any difference whatsoever. So I've just gotten to the point where I'm just really fed up with my skin right now. I finally decided to try Skin and Me. Um, I signed up last night and my friend April said she has tried Skin and Me and she really liked it. So I'm really looking forward to um, getting my first daily doser. And I've known about Skin and Me for years and I always knew it was something that I would try when I'm ready. So last night I went on the website and I used a referral link. So I got my first daily dose of 4 .99 and there was also the opportunity to try their cleanser, moisturiser and their new sunscreen for free. So I think it's just like a little sample and then if I want I can add that to my um, subscription. So the daily doser I'll get once a month. If you don't know what Skin and Me is, it's basically a prescription based formula tailored especially for your skin. So like the retinols and stuff that they use in their um, products is actually a higher dosage than the stuff that you can just buy in like Boots or Superdrug. So when I actually get the product and I've tried it out and stuff I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it. Yeah so that was just my skincare chat and I also started talking about some Christmas stuff as well. I think I then went on to use my lip balm um, which is the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm and I was saying that I really love this stuff and it's almost finished and I've put a few Too Faced sets on my Christmas list because they have free sets on Boots which I really like so I'll send them over to Brandon so I have that as part of Brandon's list because I've got a list for my work colleagues I've got a list for my mum I haven't given my sister a list yet um, I gave my friend April a list but I absolutely love this stuff and as you can see it's there's not much left in there and I'm so sad I didn't love it at first it took me a little while to get used to it and now I really like it it's really good it's my favorite lip balm and you guys know I love Too Faced products and one of the gifts that comes with full size products so you get one of these but then sex mascara which I've got the little sample size of I think it comes with one of their lip glosses and it also comes with one of their cloud blushes and I already have one of them and it's one of my favorite blushes so this is what their cloud crush blushes look like the packaging is so cute and this one is in the shade candy cloud and this was that really popular viral one they have about six different shades and i was really intrigued about this shade because i saw a lot of people using it and it looked really pretty i just wasn't sure if it was going to work on my skin tone and it does so it looks like this and it's the perfect blush for me to use in the summer. It looks really nice on all skin tones. I tried it on my niece who's a little bit darker than me when it was my mum's birthday and we was going out for dinner and it looked so nice on her and yeah I absolutely love this blusher so I can't wait to start using this again in the summer. I feel like it's more of a summer blusher for me. And yeah so it comes with one of them but a different colour and you guys know I love my blusher. I love blush. But I'll be really happy if I get one of those sets for Christmas. So speaking of blusher, I got four of these Revolution blushes back in the summer, but I've only just started using them. There's one shade that is quite dark. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but these shades I have been using the last couple of weeks and I keep getting compliments from customers at work, especially women. They're like, oh my God, your skin is glowing. Wow, your face looks amazing. And I've even had people being like, oh, are you wearing makeup? <laughs> it looks really good. And the thing is, I've been doing my makeup the same as I always do. Um, my makeup is quite minimal, so it looks fairly natural. And I think these blushes have just enhanced my makeup or something because everyone keeps complimenting my face. And I think that's really sweet. Um, but I'll show you them really quickly. So this one is called Crank and the packaging is quite cute as well. So this is a very nice berry color really pretty. Uh, I think there's two berry ones. One's a little darker than the other. The other one is called Rebel. Um, and it looks like this. So very similar, but I think one's darker than the other. When I first bought these, I kind of regretted it. I was like, why did I buy so many blushes? But I don't regret it now. They're really nice. Yeah, so this one is a little, I guess, more red toned a little bit. Like it's like a deeper berry. And then this one is more of like a lighter berry color, but they look very similar, but they're not the same. They are they are different. You girlies know they're not the same colour. And then I've got this coral one. It is more, it's very orange, um, but I love it. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, I love these blushes. And I think they're only like £8 each and they're not too powdery or anything. They're very pigmented. You just need a little bit and then tap, tap, tap on your cheeks and 
gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um, but yeah I don't have that much makeup on my Christmas list um, I did have quite a few skincare products on there but I think I'm going to take those skincare products off because I'm obviously going to be getting the skin of me and I had some ordinary products on there and they've got like retinols and stuff which you can't use alongside the skin of me in case you're formula actually has some of that in there so i'm going to take that off my christmas list i might keep my basic skincare stuff on that list because you can use that like alongside um the skin and me stuff so i think i've got like a garnier micellar water just like a face wash and just um like my everyday face creams i think i'll still i think i'll still obviously use them so i might keep them on my christmas list my mum has been asking me this morning um to send her pictures of stuff i want for christmas because i gave her a list which she asked for and she's like i don't know what any of this stuff is on the list you've got to send me pictures um so i'm gonna go ahead and send her some pictures today and um i know she's gonna get me some soap and glory bits she always does for christmas and she was in boots yesterday and yeah my mum's so funny so yeah i need to sort out my christmas list today i have actually almost finished my christmas shopping so i've got 13 people to buy for this year and i've almost finished i've just got a few more bits to get so i've got a really big poundland box outside my door which has been sitting there for the last couple of days it's literally just a box full of chocolates and um some wrapping paper and some gift bags might regret getting the wrapping paper because when it comes to wrapping gifts i'm really good at wrapping gifts i've done professional wrapping at chanel for a couple of years so my gift wrapping is really good if I'm in the mood and cheap wrapping paper annoys me because it rips so um I might regret buying this paper and I might have to get some more from somewhere else that's like a bit better quality um but I thought I might as well get some because my mum always uses wrapping paper as well and you can never have too much wrapping paper and yeah my mum's probably going to use this as well and every year I kind of go for a theme last year I didn't because I was so stressed and I was busy working in December um, I was even working Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve last year and I just couldn't be bothered for Christmas last year and I think I did all my Christmas shopping in December and it was just stressful and everything was last minute and it wasn't a great time um, so I don't even think I really showed you guys any Christmas gifts last year this year I do want to show you a few bits and bobs but yeah basically I've got some stuff to unbox with you guys I did order um, I did have a home delivery earlier this week from Iceland I just got some food bits and I also got a whole bunch of like Christmas chocolates and biscuits as well so there's one box of biscuits for myself it's a yearly traditional this is like the third year I think I've or did I buy them last year I don't think I did but I did the year before I bought myself a box of chocolates I think it's like a McVitie's box of chocolates and I will enjoy them to myself but the rest of the stuff is like um gifts for people so every single person on my Christmas list also is also getting some like chocolates apart from one person my work one of my work colleagues because she hates any sweet stuff so she's the only person that I haven't gotten any like chocolates for but I think I might have gone a little bit too crazy and a little bit too overboard I think I spent probably 50 60 pounds on chocolates oopsies but I've planned out who's getting what so hopefully it doesn't look like too much my sister's got the most because she loves chocolate um so I don't think she'll complain about that so I can't wait to unbox that with you guys yeah I'm so proud of myself for doing my Christmas shopping already I've got some stuff from the body shop arriving I also ordered from the English soap company I've got to order some stuff from boots for my niece and my nephew can't really think of any more places now but yeah I've pretty much almost done my Christmas shopping which is amazing I probably won't start wrapping anything until next month it's just nice to know that I brought everything and I've got some stuff at work as well like some bottles of alcohol for two of my work colleagues one of them's got vodka the other one's got a red one and it's actually one of my work colleagues birthdays this week so i'll show you what i got her um i've got a little drawer in my alex nine drawers that i've dedicated to like some christmas stuff yes yeah, so i'll show you guys that now actually so in this drawer is where i've been keeping gifts so this is a birthday card for my work colleague and then this is her little gift bag it's so cute so this is what her gifts are going to be going into she says she likes simple skincare so i got her some simple stuff so i've got her a moisturizer um a face scrub i've also got her this um face wash and then i've also got her this um face cream 
So that's all gonna go into this little bag. It's gonna look so cute. Trying not to show you guys Brandon's present back there. Um, but I've also got her these two simple soaps. And then I've got some white tissue paper to put in the gift bag. And I've got two really pretty gift bags here for um, drinks. So one of them can go in the cupboard for next year for someone else's birthday. This is such a cute gift bag. And yeah, her wine is at work. She's getting a wine for her birthday and a wine for Christmas because she loves her red wine. And for one of my work colleagues, so I've got him a bottle of vodka and I also got him these earrings that he wanted. I've only got a few little bits left to um, get now. I've got to make another order off the body shop because there was free sprays that I wanted to get and they were out of stock when I ordered which is really annoying so I still need to get those and then I need to get some stuff in Lush as well and yeah I think I think that's pretty much everyone done oh and I need to get Brandon a card and I think I might also need to get some cards for everyone else as well I want to get Brandon like a separate card and then I've got one for my friend April I've got her a nice little card as well if you can hear any little noises in the background it's just Bella playing with her toys she's so just decided to take my nails out of this drawer. There's a few things that I don't need in here, but this is where I keep all of my baby lips, my face sponges, um, all my face brushes that I'm not currently using. I've got some eyeshadow palettes, some backup products. So I've got my Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. Love this stuff. It's by Too Faced. I've got backup of my favourite L'Oreal um, serum. So yeah, I've just got some makeup-y bits in here. But over here, I've just taken out all of my nails. Do you guys remember? when I used to wear fake nails all the time. I haven't worn fake nails since Christmas 2020 and before that I didn't really wear fake nails that year. So I'm gonna go through them quickly because there's some that I just know I'm never gonna wear but I do have these adhesive sticky tab things which I might actually try out because I'm not really into wearing fake nails anymore. I love them, but they're just not practical, especially for work. And my nails are fairly healthy. I don't really want to start putting glue all over them and sticking fake nails on. Um, but I got these years ago from Primark. They were only a pound and they're super adhesive nail tab. So you don't need any glue. I'm not sure how long they last. But I thought it'd be worth trying these out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through these nails because um, yeah, I'm sure I can part with at least one or two packs. So these ones I think I'll keep. Um, I used to use these ones a lot, along with these ones. These ones were quite nice. I found them to be a little bit um, weak though. These ones were quite bendy, but I love them in the pink and I also love them in the silver. So that's those. Um, these ones are quite extra, but I think I'll keep them for now. And then these ones, I don't know. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. They're like a pinky purple, like a berry colour. So I guess I'll keep them for now. Um, these ones as well, they are gold, but I will also cling on to them. These ones are so pretty. I like these, and these ones are quite pretty as well. So I think the only ones I'll part with for now are probably these, I think, because they are silver. Or should I just cling on to them? I don't know, I think I'll cling on to all of these for now, but if I am going to declutter any, it will it will be these three. And I've had these sitting in my drawer for years, to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't know what pack I should try on, actually. Um, hmm. I don't want anything too crazy. I don't want anything too glittery. Should I go for these? Are these a little bit too much? I just want something subtle. I think I might go for these ones actually. I do that on my next nail appointment. You'd be getting shorts with a very, very thin gold tip, gold glitter tip. I'm just gonna brush my um, eyebrows a little bit because they are annoying me. There we go, it looks a little bit better so i'm just about to have a iced coffee so the one i've been enjoying recently is this starbucks caramel macchiato um i used to have these drinks i used to have this in starbucks but then i switched to 
um, an iced caramel latte because it just tastes a little bit sweeter. It's got a little bit more milk in there, but I do really like the ready made ones. They're quite nice. Um, I do have to add a caramel syrup. So I've got my caramel syrup in here and a couple of ice cubes, um, but it's really, really, really nice. I remember trying one of um, Starbucks chilled coffees a few years ago and I think it upset my stomach because I am slightly lactose intolerant and it just didn't agree with me so I tried one of these the other day and I seem to be fine with it so you can get this in most supermarkets and you can also get it in a carton as well so it's like a multi-serve which is really good and I think it works out a little bit cheaper um, than getting these little ones but yeah so you can either drink it on the go it's got a little straw or there's a little tab and it allows you to just like open it up and pour it into a cup so I don't think I'll have all of it I think I'll just have half and I'll have the rest of it later my ice is melting a little bit because it is quite warm in my room I should be having a nice hot caramel latte but I really just fancy the nice coffee right now oh that tastes really good it's a little too sweet I think I put a little bit too much caramel syrup in there so I'm gonna put a little bit more coffee inside and I love that it comes with this little lid that you can just pop back on it so then this can go back in the fridge and I'll have the rest later I've got my nails on and fake nails are so annoying I just don't like fake nails anymore they just honestly get in the way I prefer having my nails short it's so much more comfortable I don't really like these nails to be fair but I can easily peel them off they were quite easy to stick on to be fair um so I would definitely do this again because I like that I can just peel them off when I'm done. I've got Bella on my lap but I thought I would show you guys a couple of okay I'll put you down. <laughs> right just move my candle up there for a second because it was getting really warm here um so I just thought I would show you guys a couple of empties. I saved up a couple of products well it's just four products and I thought it would be really nice to do this from time to time just save up some used products and then just sit down and talk you through some of them so I'll go through them quite quickly because I'm aware I've been chatting quite a lot in this vlog but this is supposed to be a really nice cozy at home vlog and I personally love just listening to people talk about their day-to-day -day life and whatnot um in these kind of videos so I'll start off with Bath and Body this is the Nivea body lotion so this one I have here is the um uh, deep moisture serum and it's got shea butter in there it smells really good and i love that it comes with pump so yeah there's a teeny tiny bit left in here i don't know if i can oh i can unscrew it that's good so i'll get the last of it out and then i've also got this nivea deodorant so this has been my favorite deodorant this year i used to use the dove ones but then i started going off them and i have really been enjoying the nivea ones so this is the one i've been going for and it's just the pearl and beauty quick dry one. Going on to skincare, I've got this Open Glory Vitamin C Serum. So I don't really feel like this did anything for my skin. It's got cat fur on it. Um, used up the whole bottle and yeah, just didn't make any difference for my skin. And the Vitamin C is supposed to help with dark spots and stuff and yeah, it just didn't work for me. And then lastly, I've just got this Waken mouthwash. So this is my favourite mouthwash and it's also my favourite toothpaste as well. Um, I don't have the toothpaste tube, I threw that away. Um, but this is what I was talking about the other day. Yeah, so I'm going to be buying more of these but I've got the gem one on my Christmas list so actually I think I'm going to have to buy another one of these because my mouthwash is not going to last me till the end of the year. So I'll either get one of these soon or I'll wait until the new year in case I get the Jam one for Christmas. Hand that over to my mum today because she wants to order Christmas bits as soon as possible because she's actually going to be going away to Jamaica for Christmas. I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas yet. I'll either spend it at my sister's house, I'll probably go up to my sister's Christmas Eve because I've got Christmas Eve off work this year, which is really good. Um, so I'll go to my sister's house Christmas Eve, spend time with the kids and everything, and then I'll spend Christmas Day at her, or I'll be spending, um, Christmas Day with Brandon, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. He suggested it a couple of months ago, um, I think I mentioned this already, he, he asked if I wanted to go to Scotland because he's got nine days off work, but fortunately I'm only off for, I think, three two days but I think it's either two or three days and I asked my manager if I could have one extra day off and he said yeah that's fine because 
I don't work Mondays, Mondays is bank holiday so I get an extra day so I think I've either got three or four days off, it might be four, I think it's four um, but yeah so these are all of my empties so I can finally throw these away because I had them in my Alex Stein drawer just taking up space. I haven't filmed here in ages, I'm just trying to be like a little more creative with where I film in my room because I am aware that I film a lot of vlogs in my room. So I keep saying I want to film a makeup collection and I do want to film a makeup collection. I really want to try and film one by the end of the year and I should have filmed one this week but um, I didn't because I've actually, I didn't mention that, I'm actually off this week. I go back on Tuesday so I've only got one day left but I was off for nine days and I have been doing filming and I've been doing editing um, but I just didn't get around to filming my makeup collection. Maybe what I should do now is just go through my makeup collection just really briefly and just like give you an overview of how things look and then I'll do a, a more depth makeup collection either before the end of this year or I'll do one in January maybe because I'm really happy with my makeup collection and I love how it's set out it's very 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 nice and organized um I love the products I've got a nice mixture of drugstore and higher yeah I don't really buy makeup that often because I know what products I like and I just stick to using the same things and every once in a while I might treat myself to a new product but I'm not really someone that buys makeup regularly so yeah I don't have a huge collection um I've only got one drawer for makeup which I feel like is a little bit excessive anyway but I mean it's not as bad as people who have many drawers and drawers then obviously my Alex Stein drawers I've got all of my baby lips in there and backups and my eyeshadow palettes because it didn't fit in here so yeah I don't think it's too bad it's a nice it's a nice variety I would like it to be um a little bit smaller so this is my collection and this is the uh Ikea Mickey desk if you're wondering I've had it for a couple of years now ever since I redecorated my room back in 2017 so yeah it's lasted me well and at the end i just have all of my brushes well it's not all of my brushes but these are my everyday brushes so at the moment i've been using a foundation brush and this is just a revolution one i have a lot of revolution brushes they are one of my favorites so that one i use for foundation this one i use for blusher and then i've got this chanel brush which i love and i use this for um i use this for my powder and those are pretty much my everyday brushes in here i have base products so i've got my um l'oreal tinted serum you guys know i love this stuff and then i've just got a couple of the um Too faced born this way multi sculpting concealer and i've just got my Too faced primer some lip products in here so i do want to try and use some of these up because it's just got like a whole mixture of products in here um like lip liners and crayons and all of that kind of stuff at the back i've got eyeliners way too many eyeliners so i want to I want to downsize for sure and I've got some eyebrow stuff in there as well. In here I've got mascaras but I also keep my um, eyebrow pencil in here because then it's easier to find. In here I've just got some liquid blushes and then I have four of the um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Then I've got all my powder compacts in this section so I've got blushes, this is a highlighter, um, one bronzer, blusher, blusher and then I think there's a pressed powder at the back um ignore my eyelashes these are the lashes I wore the other day and I was too lazy to put them in my case case so I just stuck them on my setting spray so I've got four setting sprays there I've got two Too Faced ones number what is this called number 17 I think and then the Studio London one from Super Drugs um I've got some more products in here so it's a Baker Too Faced um Revolution. I've got my favourite Too Faced setting powder. I've got my Too Faced highlighter. I've only got two highlighters in my collection, but how pretty is that? Stunning. Um, I've got my Chanel lip products, and then I've got two of these um, cream blushes. I don't really like cream blushes to be fair. I thought I would give them a go, but they're not really for me but i'll probably try and use them again next summer and then i've just got some lash stuff down there and yeah that is pretty much my makeup collection so i love how cozy my room feels right now um i'm just gonna put my dressing gown there so when i said i had a big poundland box i wasn't lying i really didn't expect the box to be this big 
So this is the best way that I could unbox this massive parcel. So I'm really excited to open this up. It feels like this should be in a festive video because this is normally a December kind of thing. I don't know if I've mentioned this already because obviously I did lose a huge chunk of um, this vlog earlier, but I ordered some wrapping paper, gift bags and chocolate. So I don't really know if the gift bags are going to be any good or if they're going to be that nice because obviously it's not the same as seeing them in person. Anything that I don't really like is obviously not going to go to waste because my mum or my sister can use it or it might come in handy for like you know future years so I feel like I will still have to buy um, some gift bags to put everyone's gifts in and there's some gifts for some people that I can't really mention because I feel like they might might watch my video. Bubble wrap will take that out. Oh, it looks really nice and festive in here. So I'm not the biggest fan of these gift bags that I can see right now. I thought they were silver. Oh, they are silver on one side, but then they're blue on the other side. So I feel like my theme for this year is like pink and blue. Oh, these gift bags are blue. I thought they were white. See, this is why I don't like buying stuff online. And these gift bags are really big. <laughs> they're quite huge, but they were all really cheap as well. So I've got three of these. Oh wow, these are massive. Um, yeah, so I've got three of these bags. So it's like silver on this side and then it's blue on this side. Um, yeah, I feel like that might be way too big. I feel like my sister's gifts might be able to fit in one of these bags. So I can't remember how much everything was individually, but all together, I think it was like 50, 60 pounds. So yeah, I've got three of these. Then I got two of these, which I think are the same size, and these just say Christmas wishes. The bag is actually okay on this side, it's because I was looking at it from the back, but from the front it is really nice. And my theme this year is like pink and blue, I think, like pink, blue and silver. So I've got two of these bags. And then I'll show you guys the wrapping paper. So I've got one individual roll. Um, I feel like my mum will probably use this one or this will be like a little bit of extra. Um, so this, this is a 10 metre roll and it's just got these Christmas trees on there. That is so cute. And then they have these gift sets. Oh my God, that one is so cute. I do really like this. I mean, the wrapping paper does look cheap because <laughs> it was cheap, but it's actually okay. So it's a grey and white theme and it's got a bit of silver so the reason why i got this was because it came with the bows i think i've actually got some bows i don't think i needed the bows but this was a really nice set and it was obviously really cheap so you get four rolls of wrapping paper and then you've got loads of bows you've got silver ribbon and then you've also got oh it comes with tags that is so cute. And then I got this set, which was pink and blue. So I'm definitely going to use the pink and blue one. And then I'll give like the penguin one to my mom and probably the grey one. I might keep the grey one. But I thought this was really cute. So we've got like a penguin paper, grey one. This one's just got trees on it. The blue one also has trees. This one comes with grey tags. And then you've got the blue and silver bows. Yeah, so that's actually not too bad. I really like these. There's more gift bags. I remember I did get some smaller ones. These ones are cute. I do like these. These ones are sweet. This is more of an ideal size actually. I think I might use these for my nephews. I'll probably end up using all of these. So this is very, very, very cute. You just got a bit of a Christmas scene going on there. I love that. And it's a yeah, ideal size. So I've got two packs. So there's four bags. Did I get any more bags? And my nail was just falling off. So I just got some tissue paper. I think it's packs of grey and white paper, I think. Because you've got these patterns on the front. But it's just like, it just looks grey and white in there. But yeah, you can never have too much tissue paper. And this is perfect for stuffing in the um, gift bag. Two of these ones. I mean, they're okay, to be fair. So it's just a Christmas tree. And such a cute little bag i love the size it's perfect got another one of these but this one is a smaller size so this one's more squared and then i've got two of these that's really nice and i love the little tag that's so cute but i love this i love the size of this so i got this from my work colleague margot it's a bit of a gimmicky gift i don't really get gimmicky 
gifts but this was only two pounds and she likes her coffee and it's sugar free because she's diabetic so she usually tries to go for sugar free stuff so this is the christmas variety pack six flavor instant coffee sticks and she loves her coffee so you've got different flavors like peppermint christmas pudding gingerbread yule log orange and cranberry and mince pie these do sound quite nice to be fair um and yeah so this is what it looks like and i thought that was different and it's just a little extra to add to her gifts i also got a pack of gift tags but i won't really be needing these because i've got a lot of gift tags and i've just remembered because i've got gift bags i don't really need gift tags but you know once again more for next year or years to come i also picked up this giant swell lollipop you guys know april this is for her son jackson he's really sweet and i just wanted to get him something small got him free edible gift so this is what it looks like and it's just got the elf on the shelf on there i think april actually does the elf on the shelf as well but yeah it's just got a little lollipop well it's quite a big <laughs> lollipop actually oh i think there's more gift bags how many did i order right so oh okay these are drinks bags okay i've ordered so many of this design um but yeah there's two in this pack i think and then we've got two in this pack i really like these so yeah drink bags because i have got two drinks so far i could get my mum a drink for christmas as well actually i didn't think of that and then also for my friend april's son i got him this really cute chocolate coin so it's like an elf on the shelf coin that is so cute look at it oh, i love it Oh, that just looks so magical so it says you made santa's good list this would be really good for a stocking i love christmas stockings like let's just talk about christmas stockings quick so when i was younger and i lived with my dad my christmas stocking was huge i swear it was like as big as me so when i was younger my dad used to put my stocking in my room and then obviously santa comes at night and then he puts all the little presents and stuff i would wake up in the morning and i had this like massive stocking filled with like actual presents so what i would do is i would drag my stocking out of my room because it used to be so heavy i had to like drag it out of my room and i would drag it into the living room and open all my stocking stuff and then open all the stuff under the tree that was just me and my dad so my i was allowed to open presents whenever i woke up as long as it wasn't like too early but in the morning at like a reasonable time i could go and open up all my presents and then when my dad would wake up he would help me with like opening certain gifts and stuff all the stuff that you get in your stocking is from santa and then all the wrapped gifts under the tree um are from like friends and family so how we do it at my sister's house is that we would all get stockings just <laughs> your normal size stockings and then my sister would put like sweets little gifts and stuff like that and then going back to when me and my niece were little my mum and sister would wrap the presents on christmas eve and then christmas day we would wake up and then they and then we would see like all the presents under the tree i think that's how we used to do it but in the last like couple of years um I think my sister just like puts the stuff under the tree as soon as they're wrapped. But the whole point of the story was that when I got older, so a couple of years ago, my sister was like, you're a little too old for stocking now. Stockings is like one of my favourite parts of Christmas, like Christmas morning opening your stocking and you get the best little bits in there. So when I was with my ex, we used to do Christmas stockings for each other. So I've not had a Christmas stocking since Christmas 20... 21 22 20, no 20 tw yeah i've not had a christmas stocking since christmas 2020 i don't know maybe me and brandon can do christmas stockings for each other next year if things are still going well because i really miss having a stocking and some of the gifts that i've got brandon are like perfect stocking fillers and yeah that was just a long-winded story about christmas stockings so i did actually get a few things for myself so i'll leave that to the end this is for my sister my sister loves her chocolates and she loves her biscuits and i know she loves these so i used to buy these for her i found them in sainsbury's i think it was last year and i was obsessed and then i bought her pack of these biscuits and they are amazing so so, so good so this is like a selection box with all these other biscuits and she's gonna love this and then i also got her i think one of these are for my sister i've got a couple of packs of these actually um i think i've got like three yeah 
so who are there to be shared out between a few other people and these are the Cadbury's mini snowballs I love these so if you like your mini eggs at Easter these are basically Christmas version of mini eggs they're so good then I've got these for my niece it's the Terry's chocolate orange snowballs I've never seen these before but I always get her a chocolate orange for Christmas is it in here? No, it's in the cupboard because I got that from Iceland. So she's got chocolate orange and chocolate orange snowballs. How cute. I got a few people some mini reindeers because who doesn't love Malteser mini reindeers? So I've got four packs. So I think my mum's getting a pack, my sister's getting a pack. And these are so cute. I love these. I've got, oh, it's a little bit broken. Um, it's a Cadbury's Dairy Milk Salted Caramel and this is new, this is for my sister. I always like getting her lots of chockies because she loves it and I always like finding like new chocolates for her. So this is what it looks like. And then I've got these Dairy Milk Little Robins. These are also for my sister because it's got the, is it Dame? Dame I think that's how you feel it's that chocolate. I like this chocolate and she likes this chocolate and it's just the Little Robins but with a little added extra. I do love um, getting Cadbury's because Cadbury's always just the best Christmas stuff and they just do the best chocolate. Like Cadbury's and Maltesers are like my go-to Christmas chocolate. Speaking of Maltesers, I've got a box of Maltesers. These are for, these are for my mum. Christmas tradition. So I always get her Maltesers and shortbread. And then I've got a small pack of Maltesers and this is for one of my friends. I'm honestly feeling so festive right now and Christmas is soon it's not it's not far away I just don't know where I'm actually gonna put all of this stuff and then I got two of these these are so cute so I like getting my nephews and sometimes my niece Smarties you know you can get those like packs of Smarties for like a pound I don't think they're a pound anymore I think they're one pound 25 but I think Poundland had two for two pounds I think um but yeah you know you can get those little tubes of sweets that you put in like stockings and stuff so I always get them the Smarties ones but this year they had candy cane ones so I think they're just like the normal Smarties flavor but they're red and white look at the packaging it's just not the cutest thing ever I love candy canes I don't really like eating candy canes but I just think candy canes just look so pretty and yeah so they make them a little bit different now because they are paper I mean they were paper before but they did have a bit of plastic so this is all paper but the packaging honestly I think this is for okay this is for my work colleague Margot got her some Cadbury's chocolate this is for my manager so I got him a box of a Christmas selection biscuit box thing and I got him some lint chocolate and I've also got him a little Kit Kat. It's a little Santa. Is it not the cutest thing? I got some King de Bueno, the white chocolate one. And then I got two of these Reese's peanut butter trees. So I've just got this milk chocolate version and this uh, white chocolate version. Hopefully they like these. They did say to you that they like these. last few bits are just for myself. So I've got a packet of Haribo sweets because I don't have any packs of sweets at home and I just really fancy some sweets. A pack of biscuits. I've also got this caramel latte to try. So I usually get the, is it Nescaf? I usually get those or the um, Starbucks one. But these were quite cheap so I thought I would give these a go and you've got like 10 in the pack. These are actually really small. These are a lot smaller than I expected but it's okay because I will find some use for them because I'm always using these kind of containers but I was actually expecting them to be like bigger <laughs> than this but this is actually perfect actually. Um, I'll tell you why because I have these really cute little Kath Kidston containers and they've got the one where you just pop the lid up but the lid keeps coming off and then I end up having to wrap it in cling film which kind of defeats the purpose of using one of these containers but these have the clip-on lids 
So this will be perfect for when I take things like fruit to work. And then I just got a tin of evaporated milk. That was everything. That was actually a lot of stuff. So it's a little bit windy today and I've got my window open because it's quite warm in my room. So I apologise if you can hear the wind. Just got myself a glass of apple juice. So I've just decided to lay everything out and just properly go through what I've got. And I think these gift bags might actually be okay for everyone's gifts actually. So the little ones are so cute. This Christmas tree one has actually grown on me um so yeah there's quite a few small bags i think there's like five small bags and then we've got um four medium bags and one two three four five large bags four bottle bags and pack of tags and in the tissue paper and the tissue paper i opened them up and it is silver and one and then we've got four eight nine rolls of wrapping paper lots of bows lots of curling ribbon so yeah i'm really 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 happy with all of these bits at first i thought it was too much i actually think it is okay and i will use up a lot of this stuff and yeah so i'm really happy i've got gift bags and wrapping paper out of the way because i find buying gift bags really stressful um and i love that i've been able to just buy some really cheap ones and i really love the pastel pink and baby blue theme i'm going for with the silver this year really cute normally i just go for silver and i've just realized if i use these gift bags i can use this christmas tree wrapping paper that's gonna look so cute i don't know who i'm gonna give these little bags to just yet poor bella's looking pretty tired because i don't think she's had a chance to properly nap today she usually loves napping after breakfast and then she'll usually nap throughout the day but she's just a typical ragdoll cat and she's just been following me everywhere and i've been up and about today i haven't been in my bed so she keeps following me from room to room bless her she hasn't been able to get settled but this is all the stuff that was in the kitchen so let's go for it all so I picked up this in um, Iceland in store, but the rest I got online. This is the Quality Street favourites, and this is the purple one. So it's the whole bar of the purple one. Let me know what your favourite Christmas chocolates are. Do you like roses, Quality Street, um, Celebrations, Heroes? I think for me, um, Quality Street and roses is quite like nostalgic because that's what my dad used to buy growing up. And I remember we always had a tin under the tree, and it's just not the same in the plastic tubs anymore um and the way they package them is different too but yeah i used to love these and the purple one's one of my favorites so i bought this for someone who likes the purple one i got these adorable fortunes chocolates i don't know if you can see it because the lighting isn't the best but it's basically a chocolate elf how cute so i've got two elves and two reindeers yeah so i got these for I think my niece, my nephews, and ones for Jackson as well. But I just think they're beautiful. <laughs> and I got um, these Lind Lindor bars for my manager. Um, this is gonna be for my niece and nephew, so they can all play this game. Me and my niece done something like this years ago. And yeah, I think the kids will love doing this because you've got like birthday cake or soap, bubble gum or mouthwash, cola or dog food, strawberry or chili. Oh, that one sounds really good. <laughs> um tropical or curry and lastly we've got watermelon or cabbage ew but yeah i think they'll have so much fun with this and then these are the shortbreads i got for my mom these are the biscuits i got for myself these are so good i love these so if we turn it around um i think my sister got this one year so this is milk chocolate topped shorty i don't know if i don't know if i like that one but i love this one this one's really good this one is also really good don't like dark chocolate i don't like this one either because it's dark chocolate um this one's okay it's white chocolate crumble this one is one of my favorites that is really good and this one is also really good <laughs> so this is really nice we have a cup of tea or maybe a cup of coffee love it but i um opened mine after christmas so this might be like my so this might be like my after christmas biscuit so more biscuits this is the biscuits that i got for my manager i think he will like this foxes or mcvitties to the best biscuit yeah there's some really nice ones in here these just sound so 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 good oh there's more on the back yeah this one is really nice the milk chocolate rounds and is it the vmes that one's good as well that one sounds good um to be honest i think i would actually eat all of these <laughs> But yeah, hopefully my manager likes that. Terry's chocolate orange, this is for my niece. 
Um, I think this is for one of my nephew's dairy milk buttons. And then these are, oh, there's some more chocolates. So I think this is for another one of my nephews who really likes white chocolate. I think one might be for my sister. I'll have to look back on the list. So these are the crisps I was talking about. I was going to originally give them to Brandon, but I think my mum would prefer them more. Because this is like my mum's kind of thing that she loves. She loves like trying new things and she does like her crisps and stuff. So I think it was free for three pounds. And they did popcorn as well. I think I'll give the popcorn to my niece. So it's toasted marshmallow flavoured coffee coated popcorn. That sounds really nice. My niece loves sweet things, especially unique things. She's like my mum. Um, but I think my mum prefers more savoury than sweet. But yeah, I'm going to give these to my niece and she's going to love that. So we've got, I think it's pronounced Mackies of Scotland. So these are pigs in blanket flavour. I'm really craving some pigs in blankets. I've got some in the freezer, I've got some with my ice and chocolate. And then we've got turkey and stuffing. My niece would love this flavour because she is obsessed with stuffing. So maybe I might give my mum two and then give my niece these two. I'm not sure yet. And then we've got Boxing Day Curry. None of these sound particularly nice for me personally, but they are festive flavours. I know my mum will like something like this. Been watching a little bit more of Gemma Louise Miles. And then here's all the sweets and chocolate. So it's actually not too much now that I've laid it all out. Um, it's actually not too bad. I feel like once I get all the Christmas chocolates, that's when I start to feel really festive. Can't wait to show you guys the gifts. It doesn't feel like I got that many gifts this year. So let me just have a look on my phone and look at my um, Christmas list. Ignore my fingers, this looks so ridiculous. All right, so I've ordered stuff from Etsy. I also ordered some stuff from Vinted. I don't think my sister's gonna watch this. But my sister really likes the body shop and I forgot the name and I forgot the range that she really liked but they discontinued it. I think it was called Drops of Light and she really loved like the serums and stuff. Um, so I had a look on the Vinted and I think I bought her a serum and I think one of the face washes. So that's what I got off there. Got some stuff from the English Soap Company, Poundland bits that you just saw, chocolates and gift wrap and stuff. Um, then I got some more chocolates from Iceland. And then I ordered from the body shop. I've got another body shop order to do. I've got to get some bits from Boots and also some stuff from Lush. And I already bought some bits off Amazon because, um, so I got the two bottles of alcohol off Amazon. So I did that a little while ago. So going through everyone's list, like honestly, my list is so organized. Let me see. I'll show you guys maybe this portion. I'm trying to show you a portion of the list where people who watch this video won't see what they've got. Okay, I think this is fine. I just want to show you guys how organised I am. So, <laughs> this is how I do my Christmas list. So, I have the person's name. So, these are my work colleagues. And then I write what I'm going to get them. And once I've bought it, I tick it off. And yeah, I haven't gone too crazy like this Christmas I haven't got like loads and loads and loads of gifts for people um especially because I have so many people to buy for and it's quite expensive and I like to get people some decent good quality gifts you guys will see when I've like got everything I'll show you guys um but I think I've done really well this year so I just messaged April and sent her a picture saying I think I've got enough Christmas biscuits and chocolates let me just pause um Gemma's video a second she's just doing a Christmas food haul I think that was last year's um vlogmas video but this is everything um is it too much stuff <laughs> one minute i'm like no it's fine and then the next minute i'm like maybe it's a little bit too much excuse me are you stopping eating my flower <laughs> she likes chewing these um flowers every single one of them oh bluebell's awake there she is she's so old and frail now bless her she still gets around but she is quite wobbly on her feet and she's so 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 tiny um but she's just enjoying a treat i gave her yesterday i don't really know if she's gonna make it till christmas i've had her for so long now and um hamsters only live about two years and she's over three i'm not going to be giving her a christmas theme once again this year i'm just keeping it as um an actual theme i'll probably get back to doing themed cages probably next year if you're wondering how bella is with the hamster and how my hamster is with bella as you can see they really don't mind each other. So if any of you guys wondered what it's like having a cat and a hamster, thankfully these two work well together.
made myself an iced coffee. I've really been enjoying this iced coffee. I've got an Iceland delivery coming today and I ordered some more because it's just really good. I've got Gemma Louise Miles on because I've been obsessed with her videos the last, what, three days or last couple of days. So I remember yesterday we were talking about Christmas stockings. I want to show you guys um, my last Christmas stocking I had and it was the best Christmas stocking I've ever had mainly because I chose a lot of the items to go in my Christmas stocking. Actually I don't know if I chose for these items to go in the Christmas stocking but these were things that I had asked for if that makes sense. This was all the content of the stocking. I had a load of Harry Potter pins. If you didn't know I love Harry Potter and one of the things I love collecting are pins. So these are all from small businesses and of course you've got the essential sweets and chocolate and then there's my niece's stocking on the end she's had that since she was really little um she's now in her 20s and then my nephews both have a stocking each but what i wanted to show you guys was the stuff that i sent over to my mom last night so the things i want for christmas so i might add a few more things um she's not necessarily going to get me everything she just wants a list to be able to pick some bits of the list so i think she's going to get me free soap and glory products and then the rest of this stuff is all like skin Skincare. I really need another micellar water. Um, I need another micellar face wash. I thought I would try the L'Oreal Triple Active Day Cream because I have the night cream. I would like another one of the night cream. And then I really want to try this um, Too Faced by a company called Gem. And I also want to try out the mouthwash as well. So the flavour is coconut mint, which sounds quite nice. So I've seen this really nice number seven palette. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's got colours that I would definitely use. I've really been wanting to get back into eyeshadow again. And this palette is just my kind of colours. But the thing is, I already have two or three palettes with similar colours. I've got two Revolution ones which are fairly medium sized palettes and then I've got one really small pixie palette with like six colours in there um, but I really like this one. It generally looks absolutely beautiful um, so I think I might put this on my list. I mean it is only £15, it's not that expensive at all and it is part of the free for two. I had a look through everything but I didn't really like anything else. This palette is limited edition as well and I feel like I probably would use it if I start getting into eyeshadow again. I think I'm going to put it on my list to be fair because I want to have something exciting to look forward to because all I've really asked for is like my usual skincare bit. And yeah so that was pretty much my um my Christmas list that I've sent to my mum if any of you guys cared. The funniest thing about this light is that in person right now the light is green. Normally I have it on a orangey yellowy setting because it's nice and cosy and sometimes I make it a little bit darker so it's like kind of orange pretty much but the thing is when I film it makes on camera it makes it look more like a hot pink almost like a really weird colour. I was just playing around with the different colours and for some reason the green which is lime green how I'm seeing it shows up as more of like white. It's really weird what this camera does with <laughs> the colours. Let me see if I can show you guys through my phone and see if it will like come up as green um, because it's literally lime green right now and it's just baffled me that it looks white on camera. See even on my phone camera it looks it looks white. It's so weird. I'm probably just gonna spend the day watching a little bit of Gemma Louise Miles. I'm just catching up on her old videos. I've been watching some of her Christmas ones as well. Um, I don't think I've watched all of these Christmas ones from, I think this might be last year, if I'm correct, or maybe the year before. Um, but I really like her autumn and Christmas videos. They're really nice and cosy. Um, but the ones I'm watching now are from January. Please use this lip tint from Charlotte Tilbury. So beautiful. <laughs> So I've just spent the last, I don't know, 10 minutes just watching Gemma's video and taking my time to put all my hair products in my hair. So I've just added all my oils and stuff to my hair and I'm going to spray a little bit of my um, scalp spray. So yeah, I think I said yesterday I do like to moisturise my hair every couple of days. But yeah, it's so nice and easy having braids. That's one good thing about having them. Um, you don't really need to do much to them so I won't need to wash them until I think next week I'll give them a wash or maybe the start of 
like the week after so every two weeks so this is the spray i really like to use mine is a little broken because i ordered it off amazon last year and the lid was broken so i keep this in the bathroom and this bit just keeps falling off and it kind of leaks when you spray it um but yeah it's a really really lovely spray and then i just like to run my fingers through my hair just to make sure that I've got some of that sheen spray everywhere and especially on the ends as well just making sure they're staying nice and fresh because the ends aren't fully plaited so I just like to um make sure they stay really nice so yeah as you can see they're not all plaited to the end so just like to um run my fingers through that I still don't know how I feel about my hair I'm not absolutely loving it it has straightened out a little bit because the first couple of days it kept going curly on the ends and that was really annoying me so it is straightening out a little bit so i'm quite happy about that i think it will still take me a little while to um get used to it it's just a little bit different for me and i don't always do well with um with change bella's just done a poo in the hallway and it thinks so i'm gonna go and scoop that out in a minute but before i go um i wanted to show with you guys my new favorite shower gel so it's by the body shop and unfortunately you can't actually get this anymore because this was last year's i think last year's christmas collection so i bought it for myself last year because i always get people stuff from the body shop and i thought i would get myself a little something as well and i started using it recently and it smells very autumnal and very festive at the same time it's just a beautiful wintry scent and it's a shame they didn't bring it back this year so this scent is called spiced orange and it's orange vanilla and cinnamon and it's and it's described as comforting and refreshing and yeah i agree it's just a gorgeous shower gel and i love the um picture as well very 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 pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i've been filming over the last three days and i've got a lot of footage to edit as i said at the start of this video my aim for this video was to film something at home that felt a little bit cozy because who doesn't love watching a cozy vlog and especially at this time of year it's just one of the best things to pop on and have in the background so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next vlog or video so yeah see you in the next one guys